Hi all, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to discuss the best practices we should keep in mind while writing the test classes or while working with the test classes. Okay, so and how to write a test class? The videos will be uploaded soon. So now let's first discuss the best practices we should keep in mind. Okay, the first question comes in our mind: Why we should write a test class, or what is the need to write a test class? Okay. So basically, whatever the functionality we will or whatever the code we perform to achieve any functionality. So now to verify this and to test the positive and the negative scenarios, we need the test class. Okay. So in this test class, what we do, whatever the code we have written, like suppose we have created a trigger on the account. Okay. Now to verify that this trigger will going to pass the positive and the negative scenarios, then. to for this we will going to write a test class okay so as we all know that the test class coverage should be 75% that is at least the test class should be able to pass 75% scenarios of your code which you have written but while writing a test class never thought about the uh, code coverage just think that you have to cover the positive and the negative scenario in this test class then it will automatically going to cover okay so now uh, let's start with the points which we should keep in mind while working with the test class so the very first point is here at the rate is test annotation should be used before starting with your test class okay so at the top at the rate is test annotation is used while defining the test class now the next we will come to method so when it comes to define the method of the test class either we can use the at the rate is test annotation or we can use the test method with the name of the test class method okay so this is how we can use this so these are the two ways so this is how we can use at the rate is test to define the test method and and the second is how we can use test method to define the test methods okay so uh, what basically the at the rate is test is the enhanced version of this test method so when it comes to the best practices we always used to we always try to use this at the rate is test in front of this test method okay so now the next point come as we need to test the scenarios of our code so obviously we need the test data here or we need the records on which we can perform the testing or can perform these positive negative scenarios so here point comes to create the test data okay so here are two ways either you can go with the test setup method or you can use the test factory class okay so what happens in the test method uh, sorry what happens in the test setup Uh, at the top you will going to create the records and now these records you can use in your uh, multiple test methods which you will going to create and you will going to use them in the testing purpose okay and what happens in the test factory uh, we will create a separate class and the different methods we will use to create here Uh, like suppose if i want to create the account record so account record method i will create so to insert the account record i will create a method and directly i will call this method in my test class okay so so this is how we can create the test factory so i have created a separate apex class okay and in this uh, this is started with the annotation at the rate is test and in this class i have created a function to create the lead okay so in so so what you can do now you can directly in your test class to directly access this method and use this lead record in your testing okay so and and here is how we will use test setup so test setup is uh, added at the top after of all the methods of the test methods and with the annotation it start with the annotation at the rate test setup where we collect all the data which we will needed or which we need in our test methods below so you can directly now use this lead obj that is this object in your test method whenever in your test method wherever you need it okay uh, so always try to use this test setup and the data factor instead of creating again and again this uh, again and again account object or the records which you needed in of while performing the testing so always try to create them at once and now you can use them in any of the test classes okay so once you have created test factory now whenever you write a test class you can directly access the data from this test factory so this is how one time we can create the test set, test data or test record and use them in our scenarios to test them 
Okay. So now next point comes. Uh, uh, you have heard about the rotation. See all data equals to true. So always try not to use this see all data true. What happens if you use this? Now you can access the Salesforce actual data from the database and make and perform testing or you, or you can use them in your testing. So uh, you should, so always try to avoid this see all data true. And if you want to create a user and a profile or the record, try try to create in the test setup only and use them in your testing purpose in your test methods okay so try to avoid this see all data true so now before testing always use test dot start test and after your testing is completed always uh, close this with test dot stop test so what happens if you use test dot start test it will reset the governor limits and you will be able to uh, perform the testing without uh, hitting or without uh, so without hitting any governor limits okay and when and if, if you are performing any asynchronous operation in your code so then this is now must to use test dot stop test uh, so it will now be so now it will make sure that your process is completed or your asynchronous operation is completed so now the next come you must have heard about system dot run as okay uh, which we usually use when we get the mixed dml errors in our epics classes so we use this uh, system dot run as to avoid this and we also use the asynchronous epics so now in our test methods so so, and so now in our test class also we use this system dot run as so this is used to enforce the OWD or the sharing settings so what happens when you use this system dot run as it enables or it changes the user context to the actual or the existing user okay or to a new user so that the security record sharing or like the OWD can be enforced okay so this is very useful for the security purpose so we should use the system dot run as when it comes to the user so the next is always try to use the assertion so that you can compare the actual and the calculated value and verify your test scenarios are passed or failed so assertions like system dot assert equals system dot assert not equal so always try to use these assertions in your test class and the and the next is the most important thing which we usually also face in our epics code also the null pointer exception so to check this always try to pass null values in your test scenarios okay so that you can able to know that your class so that your class do not face any null pointer exception while performing the functionality okay so always try to pass the null values in your test method and the next is the hard coded values so always not in the test classes only but in your apex code also always try always not try always avoid to hard coded values never pass the hard coded ids or any name to your apex classes or the test classes okay so this is the main thing you should always avoid and if you are writing a test class for the trigger always uh, test this or exercise this for the bulkified trigger that is test your test class for the with the 200 records so to make sure that your code is bulkified and, and can handle multiple records and the next is as we all know that the code coverage needed is the 75% to pass the test class but not to focus on this 75% always focus up to 90 plus of the code coverage okay so try to test all the positive negative scenarios of your code and whether it is working for the multiple cores or the single core and whether it is working for the multiple records or the single records also so always try to pass all the scenarios that is whatever you have written in your code it should be verified or it should be tested in your test classes so it will automatically will be where well, so it will automatically will be covered to 90 plus okay so so these are the few points which we should keep in mind while or the best practices to write a test class and hope you guys enjoy this video and how to write a test class in the salesforce the videos we will upload uh, will be uploaded soon so hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section we will meet you soon in the next video